the next thing, um, number three, is Facebook groups. Now, I know in the past, um, online marketers were able to do a lot of organic things on Facebook uh, in the past, but Facebook is kind of clamped down on um, what we're able to do without paying them. And so um, one outlet or venue that they've given us is a Facebook group. So um, to use a Facebook group properly, what you want to do is um, have a theme uh, for your group and you want to invite and market other Facebook users that may be um, in the same business or in the same hobby, or maybe they are new people that are looking for uh, that type of group to connect to. And you can do live YouTube, excuse me, Facebook feeds through your Facebook uh, group page. You can uh, send out mass uh, messaging through it. Uh, you can also uh, present any kind of content that will support uh, that group. Uh, what else can you do with your YouTube page? Excuse me, your Facebook page. You can... Um, You can um, use it to develop and cultivate what they call a community or build up your following. And as long as you're um, having new people come in all the time, your group can grow. And you can even um, ask the members that you have to send out invitations to your uh, group. If your content is really good enough that they feel like their friends or other uh, affiliates that they have, affiliations that they have would benefit from the content content that you're presenting through your group. So it's like an excellent way to uh, work with a group. I think uh, the best group that I'm connected to out there is probably Spark. Uh, once a week, uh, 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 Belcher does a uh, live presentation, and I, I tell you, I've I've gotten some of the best internet uh, online marketing secrets just listening to him talk about all the things, that all the tools that are out there that are available to a sum that you pay for. I mean, oftentimes are free. Um, one of the things I learned on there is about uh, I think is it Vivo? No. Uh, I'm not in my office right now, and I'm just kind of talking off the top of my head. But there's a, um, I wanted to be able to do podcasts and also use the software um, to edit videos or edit um, these recordings. And oh man, he, he told us exactly what to do. I mean, they even have it set up where you can. Have you ever seen a, a YouTube page that was like really artistic and neat and had all of the nice words on there with the pretty colors? I mean, um, really a really professional presentation and so um that particular um editing program that i'm connected to uh has all of that on there where you can go on, go online and make um your average uh, video be, be a little bit more professional and um i just i think that um being able to just give free content like that gives you validity uh it makes um your uh, audience want to hear what else you are willing to share. And then there are times when he actually may sell us something, but because he's given so much content, uh, v valuable content, if you would, uh, to us along the way that he's probably making um, a ton of money hand over foot. So um, there's just a couple of ways that you can use your Facebook group and uh, also uh, get closer and more intimate with your audience. Now, another um, forum that, that is out there, and I think this is like really excellent, is, is Quora. Uh, you may or may not be familiar with Quora, but Quora is uh, a question and answer platform. So I've looked up different subjects on Quora, and they're almost like Google. I mean, there's not any question out there that could be asked, that hasn't been asked, that people are answering. <laughs> I mean... Probably, I, I want to say probably hundreds of thousands of questions. And the cool thing about Quora is if you do your question in a way, um, or if the question is presented in a way, and then your response is presented in a way, um, it gets actually picked up oftentimes by Google. So if someone's doing a Google search for top five uh, free organic traffic methods, um, and I set that thing up correctly, um, which Quora requires uh, word content 
they would really encourage you to use graphs, uh, refer to other websites for uh, support, supporting information. Um, you can use your uh, embed, your YouTube videos there. You can use images to um, bring your story to life. Um, you can add links. Uh, you can even advertise. Uh, you can even put your um, affiliate links in there. Whatever you need to make that content more valuable, they encourage you to do. And the more valuable the content, um, there's a good chance the more hits you will get on that article. And the cool thing about Quora is that it's forever. Once you answer a question and you put that content out there, and then even if you even put your, your website links and uh, your affiliate links and other uh, links, uh, uh, maybe even uh, advertise that link on your YouTube page. So if someone's uh, listening uh, or reading the article and they go to a YouTube video and then you get to the YouTube video, uh, your website is there. I mean, you can drive traffic using Quora if you do it uh, in a wise way. Um, but I love Quora. So um, I use Quora too. So this video will probably be on Quora as well. I'm definitely going to follow up and do a Quora relevant article uh, and use the same content uh, to reach a wider audience. And so what you want to do is, um, you know, figure out some kind of way to use your opt-in pages through these venues and capture your audience and be able to email them on a timely basis with more content and um, products uh, to offer that's going to support their business or whatever subject that, you know, they might be interested in. And last but not least, oh, yes, LinkedIn. Um, now, I wasn't familiar with this, and I, I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to have to uh, look it up, but I did research it. Did you know that you can do a blog post uh, through your LinkedIn feed? I didn't know that. Uh, so I'm going to, maybe I'm going to try that too. Now, mind you, my mentor never encourages us to do all these different venues like this. But what I try to do is do it, get away with it in a smart way, which is um, use the, that content to, uh, again, in another venue. I might shape it up a little bit differently or however. Um, but go ahead and make the post because I've already done the blog. I've already written it out. So to transfer that to another um, platform, um, it's, it's, it's just easy. It's just easy. It's something you can do in a few minutes and then have another, uh, avenue where you're driving, driving traffic. But, um, I don't want to sound contrary, but he did say, if you were going to do it, that that would be the most efficient way to do it. Um, um, uh, my mentor, by the way, is, uh, and partners, uh, Mr. Dean Holland and, uh, <sighs> If you're a newbie, I don't want to overwhelm you with, you know, too many things to do. If you really want to use organic or free traffic uh, to, 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 to methods to drive traffic uh, to your opt-in pages or landing pages, websites or blogs, we really, 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 really encourage you to just pick one. Because if you pick one and you learn all there is to know about that particular platform, you will accelerate your your progress in a speedy way. Now, I want to encourage you to give yourself six months to a year of consistent weekly, and if you really don't have anything to do daily, or maybe two or three times a week of just attacking that, that, that platform with your content uh, in a timely fashion and watch your business grow. You will get hits, you will get uh, opt-ins, you will get sales. It just takes a little time to build it up. And you also want to build a reputation with Google and uh, YouTube and all of these different uh, platforms so that they know that you're serious. And the more content that you, uh, and I mean quality content that you uh, put out there, eventually you will see the rewards. Now this is Sherry Brown Pittman. I encourage you. Could you please leave me a comment? I want to talk to you. Tell me what you're thinking. Give me your opinion about this article.